think uh, the Indiana State, Indiana State one, we were uh, kind of throwing stuff out there. Didn't really scout as much or anything. Just went out there and tried different systems, different lineups, and that was good for us. And then for Vanderbilt, we uh, scouted a lot more, prepared for like a real normal game, and uh, came out on top. And I thought that was uh, what we did. It really uh, helped us a lot. What are you looking forward to by tomorrow? Uh, I think tomorrow will be good. Sold out crowd, uh, going to East Illinois, something Illinois hasn't done in, I don't know, ever maybe. So uh, that will be good for us and I think it will be good for our freshmen too to get out there and play in front of the fans. Uh, just get a game, uh, game like said. So. There was a clip out today about the day of the life of Brad Underwood, but uh, part of the practice that was shown, he's looking for a leader and you mentioned you a little bit. Yeah. Uh, you been getting out of your comfort zone in that? A little bit? Yeah, that's something I've been trying to challenge myself with. I uh, still need to do better going forward, but uh, something I've been trying to talk more and uh, encouraging is something that I think I've always been good at, but the thing that's always been kind of challenging for me is when things are going wrong and maybe trying to get on someone and uh, say it in a different tone and trying to get them to go that way. So I'm trying to get better with that, and that's something I'm definitely trying to get out of my comfort zone. When, when, his, uh, when his system is going well, there can be bursts where a lot happens in a condensed amount of time. Have you hit any of those? Have you have you had some of those where, wow, this is really how it can work and if we do things right? Yeah, I think even in the scrimmage the other day against Vanderbilt, uh, we won a couple runs in the game where we're just like, wow, like we're playing really well. Like, it's going to be a really fun, uh, fun year for us. So, I mean, it's just there's you see so many positives within the system, offensively and defensively, that uh, we still have more to put in. So, even when we put that stuff in, just the signs of what we're going to be, should be fun for us. Have you found yourself winded yet? Uh, more in practice, and the two scrimmages honestly felt really great. Uh, even towards the end of the games, uh, compared to last year, and we're even running more now in this system than we were before. So I was feeling really good in the end of the games, and it's just the, all the work we put in this uh, the past summer and the fall, and just getting ready for the season. He had a lot of nice things to say about Demonte. What have you seen from him? Demonte's done really well. Uh, he just listens really well. He's always in the right spot, offensively and defensively. I think defensively brings that edge and uh, something that we don't have as much on the court for us right now. And I just he's trying to make the plays and it's not going to mess up for you. So it's someone you can really rely on out there on the court. Performance-wise, execution-wise, what did you think about you know, the team in those two scrimmages? Uh, I think we got uh, better as time went on. Uh, Indiana State, we did some things well, and you could tell it was our first one out there and just playing together against a different team. It was a little different for us, but uh, I thought Vanderbilt, we did a lot better and executed a lot more. We had more plays in. We were able to run those a little bit better. And, uh, I thought we definitely executed and moving forward, practicing and doing pretty well with that as well. Thanks, Mike. Thanks, Mike.